This play is about uh, a guy in Ohio, um, which is very around the 70s, 80s, um, and he's a male trapped, or sorry, he's a female trapped in a man's body. Um, and it's about basically how he goes about transitioning, not only physically, of course, but uh, emotionally, um, and how the rest of his circle, the rest of everyone else in his life, his wife, his kids, um, his pastor, who's a really big part of his life because of religion, um, and how big of a role religion played in not only his life, but him transitioning in the first place. Um, and it's really, it's not really about her, it's about everyone else and how they react to it. Well, Irma, um, she's 40 years old, going through menopause, Roy's wife. Um, she's very traditional, conservative, um, not like politics conservative, but more church conservative. Um, she has a 13 year old daughter and a 22 year old son. So she's going through it. She has this moody daughter that's also starting her period. Her husband is now also taking estrogen, going through it. And she is just trying to like hold her family together. I play uh, Roy Sr., who is the uh, father of the main character, Roy. He's very, very cranky, very misogynistic. Um, even it's pretty much not even implied straight up that he was abusive to Roy and his other kids. To me, I feel like this show, like what it means to me, it's it's about uh, loving, you know, who you're with and staying with them, you know, thick and thin and, you know, supporting them in the decisions they make because you love them so much and, you know, just being happy that they're happy. I saw this role as an opportunity to learn a lot about uh, a minority that I know, you know, I didn't really understand yet um, because of lack of exposure and just lack of understanding. Uh, I was really arrogant towards a lot of them, a lot of the subject matter. So I took the role to learn a lot about it, and I thought that, you know, if I could understand it, if I could empathize with these people, um, why can't anyone else? So um, I, I, I learned. So much about this community, um, about how much they're oppressed, about how hard it is to be in their shoes, which I think is really valuable. It means a lot to me because, like, I feel like we need that. Even though, like, of course, 2021, like, people are more accepting and stuff, but I do feel like there's not a lot of like trans voices, and we don't really understand. Like, people don't understand it as much as they need to. Playing something I've never really played before, doing something that's a little more challenging than what I've been used to because just a year ago I was doing, you know, Disney shows pretty much or uh, more lighthearted stuff. And now I'm, you know, I'm in college now and I'm doing a more very, a very serious show, a very serious subject. I'm playing a very complicated character having to portray a very heartbreaking real-life um, you know, disease like Alzheimer's. You know, it's really an honor. Um, I'm really excited. I know how, I'm starting to understand how San Antonio College, it's, how its productions are really, uh, it's kind of an outlet for a lot of people in the community. Uh, it's really valuable. And I think the fact that it's this show uh, and all the things we can teach people and help people understand is really important and I'm just really happy to be here. Um, you know, not only is it the first show for them, it's the first show for me in a while. So it's been really good to get back on stage and get the program up and running again.